Hello everyone, welcome to Masa Military. The US Air Force's next stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider, is conducting engine runs and remains on track for its first flight this year at this year's Air and Space Forces Association's mega conference outside of Washington, DC. Air Force Chief of Staff Charles Q. Brown revealed two new images of the B-21 Raider. While the stealth bomber was rolled out in December of last year, it remains cloaked in secrecy. Until today, the public has only seen a head-on angle of the full aircraft in a very controlled environment. Aside from a close-up of the cockpit area, all imagery published since then has been from the same head-on perspective, progressively showing the aircraft in more detail. Now we have our first quarter-angle view of the flying wing jet, which provides significant details about its design. A new head-on image also gives us a better idea of the bomber's actual size. Both images were taken at Northrop Grumman's facility at Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. We see the Raider change its shape to a fully functioning aircraft in these new images. The prototype has gone through extensive outfitting of the systems needed to actually fly. The quarter angle view confirms a number of assumptions based on earlier imagery, concept drawings, program information, and inference. The smaller details are coming into focus. The Raider has a flat shelf life extension that extends from its lower fuselage to its leading edge giving it the appearance of a duckbill. This low hanging feature is far more pronounced than what is found on the B-2. Viewed from the front, the cockpit of the Raider is lower and the spine is higher. The huge inlet almost completely disappeared and is consistent with the upper surface of the wing. Compared with the B-2A Spirit's cat ears, the exposed area of the Raider's air inlet is very small. From the side, the design of the B-21 is almost the same as that of the B-2A with obvious influence. It is worth noting that the front windshield and side windows of the Raider have a special stealth design. Although it looks strange when projected on the plane view, it is obviously parallel sawtooth. It is also necessary to pay attention to the machine. There are many small windows under the abdomen. The purpose of these windows is currently unknown, but they may be used for various advanced sensors. The Raider's side fuselage has a larger tilt angle than the Spirit. From this angle, the Raider reflection area on the side of the Raider will be lower than that of the B-2A Spirit. The Raider's landing gear design and door design also continue the characteristics of the Spirit, or B-2A, but the number of main landing gear wheels is halved, and the size of the front landing gear tires is reduced. This is also related to the reduced takeoff weight of the B-21. Based on photos released by Northrop Grumman, the Air and Space Forces Association's Air and Space Forces magazine, estimates that the Raider has a wingspan of about 135 to 155 feet and a length of about 49 to 56 feet, while the Spirit has a wingspan of 172 feet and a length of 69 feet. Compared with the Spirit, the Raider's wingspan is 12 to 20% smaller and its length is 24 to 28% smaller. Considering that both types of aircraft have a flying wing layout, the difference in wingspan between the Raider and the B-2A is small, while the difference in length is large. The aspect ratio of this type of aircraft is also larger than that of the B-2A. Under the same conditions, the lift coefficient will be better than that of the B-2A in the small and medium angle of attack range. In addition, it adopts a wing leading edge twist design that is not used in the B-2A and can reduce induced drag. Its lift and drag characteristics may be better than that of the B-2A, ensuring that the aircraft still has a long range and combat radius after shrinking the body. Northrop Grumman released only front and side photos of the Raider, but not the rear. Just like the unveiling of the B-2, when the B-2 was born in 1989, the U.S. Air Force also kept the second half of the B-2A strictly confidential. It not only strictly reviewed this list of on-site personnel, but also strictly limited shooting angles. The Raider plans to make its first flight at the end of 2023 and is scheduled to be ready for combat around 2030. The U.S. Air Force plans to build 100 to 150 units total. The Raider is the second stealth strategic bomber currently in the world, replacing the B-2A and the B-1B, becoming the backbone of the United States' future bomber force. Before 2050, the B-21 will form a high-low combination with the upgraded B-52H bomber, and it will be called the protagonist of the space-based nuclear weapons carrier in the United States' triad nuclear weapons arsenal. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support Masa Military. See you next time.